Hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to change my original stock end nozzle on my Ender 3 and to replace with a all metal nozzle that I've bought from AliExpress Triangle Labs. I hope you like my video. Okay, before we begin, we need some tools. Okay, enjoy the video. Okay, now it's time to make up your hot end. As you can see, I've set up my old one just to measure up and to see if the holes fit in the same place. And they do, so that's perfect. I even put some screws through just to make sure. And yes, it does fit. Okay, so grab the nozzle and tighten it in. But just do it hand tight for now as we'll tighten it later and then grab the middle bit finger tight that as well so what we need to do now is get the little grub screw and just screw it in with the allen key but don't screw it all the way in just yet because you want to put the cartridge in and then securely screw it in Okay, what you want to do now is grab the cartridge and just slice it in, just like that. And then you just want to screw it in with the Allen key on the grub screw. You want to do it sort of tight, but not too tight. Okay. And then what you need to do is get your thermistor and put it in a hole. And then get your screwdriver and your screw and just screw that in. Okay, then grab the header and just stick it in the heat block. It's quite, it's quite tough, so just don't give up. <laughs> you can see that I'm struggling to put it on. Okay, now we want to put this on the machine and just get the two screws that we removed from the old one. I think it's best just to screw one side in first and then put the other screw in afterwards and then tighten. Oh, 
Okay, so what we're doing, we're grabbing the bottom hot end with the fan and just stick it underneath and screw it in tightly with the grub screw and allen key. Okay, once that's done, I'm just going to fit my new um, tube in as the other one is broken. And I've bought this from Triangle Labs on AliExpress. Okay, so what you need to do is just push it all the way down till it stops. I'm going to grab my clip and then I'll pull it up a bit and slide that clip in. Okay, so once that's done, we're just going to heat up the nozzle to the desired temperature. For me, I'm using PTEG, so I'm going to heat this up to 240. And then once it's heated up, you want to get the spanner and a socket, a 6mm, and just tighten the nozzle. And we are pretty much done. Just replace the um, boot, rubber boot, and screw back in the fan. Make sure it goes in the way it came out. And just put the two screws in with the Allen key. And there we have it. And once that's done, we'll need to do the PID settings, which will be on another video. Okay, thank you.